My name is Richard Cookie. I'm the program coordinator for mechanical engineering. The mechanical engineering program mostly in terms of trade side is uh, the mill writing. Although we do have students go into say some pipe fitting, uh, 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 machinists, the occasional welder, but mostly the, the mill writing is their area of focus. The mechanical program is actually a little different than a lot of the other programs in that uh, we're very diverse. So the students are involved in lots of different labs. You know, one class they can be in the machine shop, another day they can be in the welding room, uh, another day in the hydraulics lab, uh, or one day in here in hands-on. In the second year we do some CNC stuff, uh, and also as they do their math and physics as well. It is a three-year program, but students can do one, two, or the third year. So generally what happens is the students more interested in the trade side stick around for the first year or the second year. And the students that are more interested in the engineering kind of focus will do the third year and possibly transition into Lakehead. And so the first year they can graduate with the mechanical techniques. Um, the second year they can graduate with the mechanical technician. Or the third year, of course, mechanical technologists. Uh, so we have lots of options for the students. And each year is based on the previous year. So we start off just the basic stuff with uh, even doing hand tools. Uh, we move on to uh, we work on the, the milling machines, the lathes, um, we do the welding. Um, we introduce them to uh, 3D modeling with, uh, with CAD. Uh, and then we throw in a little bit of math and physics. Uh, and then the second year, it's probably like, say a 40-60 split. You know, we're 40% hands-on and 60% kind of book type of learning. And when they get into the, uh, the third year, it's a little more like an 80-20 split, where it's 80 book learning already you know in, in the classroom and 20 percent hands-on the lab work really supports a lot of stuff we do in the classroom so in the labs the students will do all kinds of projects we'll make drill point gauges and hands-on tools uh, say in the welding program they might make anchors one year which is a, a great project you now where they uh, fabricate the materials and then, then weld it together as well so i really like this kind of classes where they everything blends you know it's not just very specific but it just kind of shows a cross skill set I think the program is even good for students that aren't sure what direction they want to go in yet. One of our graduates of the third year last year, she actually started in uh, human resources here at the school. And uh, she came in and, and saw some of the stuff we were doing and she transferred to the program the year after and she took three consecutive years and now she's in the, uh, working as a machinist. Uh, some of the other colleges, and, and I can't speak to all the programs, but uh, some, some of the Cancla engineering courses are more theory based. And to me, the college experience is more about the hands-on piece, you know, getting, uh, getting the shop and working with the tools. So going into mill writing, a lot of the employees will come and hire out of the two-year program. Uh, you know, someone that has some experience, right? Uh, someone that knows the tools already versus hiring someone right off the street. We also offer in the winter semester, the apprenticeship. So we do the level one, level two, level three for the uh, for the mill rates, right? So they go out and they, they work for a while and they come back and they do their first, uh, you know, few weeks with us. And then they go back to working and they come back a second time, a third time. Um, and, but we also have the, uh, an option that's not probably too well known, is that all the mill rate curriculum, curriculum is actually embedded into the two-year program of the mechanical engineering. So anyone that does a two-year program actually does not have to uh, come back to do the in-class apprenticeship training. They still have to do their hours, but they actually don't have to come back to, uh, to school to do the, the, the in-classroom portion. When students graduate from level three of the apprenticeship program, they generally just have to go write their exams and then they get their little full mill write ticket. Lots of employment opportunities uh, for the mechanical program. And you know, one thing I like about it is it's so diverse. Um, you know, students go into trades, they go into engineering, you know, they can go into mill writing. Um, I've had students go into operation management, uh, sales, um, you know, and, and, and engineering support type roles. And some students, when they finish the third year, they decide to go on to Lakehead University and do their, uh, their engineering degree. And we have an agreement with the Lakehead, where as graduates of the three-year program, uh, only require a trans summer transition courses and two years left to finish their mechanical engineering degree. So the student can finish the first year and, and go into the working world with the mechanical techniques program. Or if they decide to go for the two-year program, when they graduate, they would leave with the mechanical technician program. And of course, they the, the stay around for all three years, then they would graduate with the mechanical uh, technology. I chose to go into this program because I was always really 
fascinated about how things work and how to build things, so I figured this program would probably be the best option for me. The most fascinating thing I've learned so far was how you can machine something on the computer and then put it to a CNC machine and it makes it itself. I thought that was probably the coolest thing so far. I have a great interest in figuring out how things work and, and um, it gives me kind of a sense of freedom, I guess, to know in detail how, how machines are able to accomplish um, large scale tasks that people wouldn't normally be able to. Uh, I just feel like it's a, it's a good field to uh, always be learning and definitely applicable in, in the workplace too. Like there's never enough mechanical engineers. I'm looking forward to learning more about like the calculations, how things work on the inside, like engine calculations and stuff like that. I'm really into the math and physics side of it, so. I'm very much looking forward to learning the CNC um, programs um, for computer assisted machining. Um, so basically it lets you draw a part on the computer and then transfer that drawing onto a machine that will cut that thing out of metal and, and basically transfer a computer drawing into real life. So I'm super excited about that. My first day in first year, I think there was three females and I was pretty nervous about that because it was all males. And then after a while, I thought it was okay because I mean, like I was one of the only few. So I would say not to be worried about like the ratio of male to female because in the end, they're still gonna help you and it's not as scary as it seems, but it's definitely a really, really good program to join and it's really exciting to learn how things work. So if you're into figuring stuff out and learning how things work, then this would definitely be the right program for you. I kind of struggled with math until I started here. And then once I got going, pretty much became like my favorite subject, uh, strangely. Uh, I really enjoy the hands-on stuff, but um, the math seems like just a, a fun, almost just like a puzzle, like something you would do as a hobby in your spare time. And another surprise was how complicated things can actually get like in depth and how many little intricate parts there are to everything in the mechanical field. They started at the ground level and sort of everything that I would need to learn, I was taught. I was never feeling behind because I was able to keep up with all the, the concepts. Yeah, it just seemed doable and the more I did it and practiced, the, the easier and more enjoyable it became, I guess. After this year of mechanical engineering, I'm gonna go to Lakehead to get my degree in mechanical engineering and then hopefully maybe work somewhere outside of Thunder Bay for a few years and come back, maybe find a job here just some type of engineering job. I would like to get my, uh, my bachelor's degree in engineering, in mechanical engineering, um, which is great because there's a transfer program uh, the university offers. Um, and I someday would like to work on robotics. A lot of my family had expected me to go into medical field or health field, but working with my dad, I realize that it's way more exciting to have your hands dirty and learn about how things work and just things like that. Like I thought it was way more interesting than anything else I had previously learned. I was working at the casino, making decent money, but really didn't enjoy what I was doing. Uh, it, was, it was drudgery, just sort of like more and more bored every day, so. But yeah, someone suggested that I try mechanical engineering out and uh, I looked into it and it just seemed like a perfect fit and I haven't regretted it. So we're going to jump into a little bit of uh, a small project where we're going to pull bits and pieces from uh, you know, a bunch of the classes that you would take here. And we're going to make a branding iron. 
Uh, first step in doing so though would be to design or come up with something and we're going to use uh, SOLIDWORKS as our the CAD or the modeling program that we use here at the college. So we're going to start by uh, drawing out a raw shape for our, uh, for our iron in SOLIDWORKS. Okay. And SOLIDWORKS is a fabulous program. Um, we're going to create a, a DXF file, uh, uh, ultimately, uh, out of our, our design. And with the, once we have the DXF file, that's when we are going to create the G code. So the G code is the um, the code that the uh, the CNC mill runs off of. Um, so we're going to take that file. We're going to put it through a, a, a simple code generator, generate a G code, and then upload that into the CNC mill to cut out our branding iron. So we're about two thirds of the way through the process. We've done the, the CAD drawings, we've uh, done the programming, so now we're all set to give it a go on a CNC. So in the shop here we have a Haas uh, TM1. It's a small three axis CNC mill. Nice little machine. You'll find stuff like this all over the, all over the place, right? Uh, Haas, or the, the CNC mill is just one example of a, a, a programmable machine. Um, here at the college we also have a plasma cutter. Uh, the difference between the two being the plasma cutter will cut like flat sheets of metal, you know, for doing sign work or making flat parts. Whereas the, uh, the CNC mill has three axes, so it's cutting in uh, different directions simultaneously, so you can get really detailed uh, three-dimensional parts. Um, so we're doing the, uh, the branding iron, and uh, we'll be doing the, cutting the text next and uh, putting it together. Now, of course, the text is backwards because when we, like, a, like in a mirror, right, when we put it in the, and brand it, right, the text will come up over. So I've managed to find an old handle for an old file. It has a 7 16 inch thread. So I'm just going to recycle that as the handle. So frequently when you, you're working with materials, like even in the CNC, right, you don't work with full length, right, so you have to cut off to a manageable length. Um, so one of the saws you might use is the horizontal bandsaw, which we have here. And in the shop, we also have the vertical ones. Um, and uh, yeah, nice tools, right? Of course, uh, you gotta be careful with everything at all times. Okay, so we have our finished piece off the, uh, the CNC. Now I'm gonna tap this hole right here. I'm just gonna clamp it down to uh, to hold it for myself. This project is not something we would normally do in uh, one of our classes, but uh, as, all you, as you can see, all the skill sets that we used in uh, manufacturing this, is all taken from individual courses in the program, and they're all blended together to, uh, to make this. Um, so the, the, the nice thing about going to college is you get to learn a bunch of different things and it's how you put everything together to make what you want, right? So we use the CAD, we use machine shop class, we use your CNC class, um, just to uh, this one little project and how it all blended together. Hope to see you in the future.